see it. For more now, we're pleased to be joined by pollster John Zogby. John, of course, the senior partner at John Zogby Strategies, also author of the book, We Are Many, We Are One. John Skyping in tonight from Utica, New York, and we always appreciate your time here on Newsmax Prime. John, let's get right to the latest polls. ABC News Washington Post has Trump up by one, 45-46. Investors Business Daily with that daily traffic tracking poll. Clinton's up by one, 45-44. Rasmussen has them tied, and the real clear politics average has Clinton two points ahead. So, John, are we starting to see voter reaction to Hillary's latest legal battle over those emails, or is this a trend that started and continued for other reasons? It had started and was continuing and then kicked into high gear. So the three polls that you just mentioned, excluding the overall average, which goes back several days, but the three new polls that, that you cited have it essentially as a tie. That's basically where we are at. Tomorrow's going to tell a full story. Today's polls reflect a full sample after the Coney announcement, and now we'll see uh, in tomorrow's new sample of this thing, um, you know, still has some legs. I suspect it does. I suspect you're going to see Trump pulling ahead uh, by two points, which, of course, is a, st a statistical tie still. And yet the big, important polls are really state by state. And as we're yes. taking a closer look there, it seems like the trends are changing there as well. For example, there were some states listed as uh, Democrat-leaning, now in the toss-up category. What states are you watching tonight that seemed out of play for Mr. Trump just a few days ago? Well, I'm watching New Hampshire, like, uh, like a lot of people. Uh, and I'm also uh, very curious about Pennsylvania and about Michigan. Now, the polls don't show it yet. The polls are all over the place in Pennsylvania. You know, one has a, an 11-point lead for Clinton, another a three-point lead. Um, but Trump is campaigning there, campaigning in Michigan. I suspect with a very good pollster he has, Tony Fabrizio, they're seeing something that the major uh, public polls are not seeing. John, as you know, early voting is underway in several states, and many who have already cast their votes are saying now they want to reconsider after hearing that FBI yeah. investigation has been reopened. Betsy McCoy was on this program last night. She reminded us in some states, you still have time to change your mind. Here's the way she put it. Those who may be having early voter remorse, uh, in, in eight states, it is possible to change your ballot, Pennsylvania being one of them. So if you've had early voter remorse and you've now decided you want to vote for Donald Trump in view of the latest email scandal or you took a look at your Obamacare premiums or you're just listening to what's happening in the economy, you can change your vote. Now, a friendly amendment, actually seven states allow you to revise that early vote and probably do it physically on Election Day. But, John, that change is going to be something pretty hard to quantify and calculate, uh, isn't it? Oh, it sure is. We only know from a partial sample right now that 7 to 9 percent of those who say they are leaning towards Hillary Clinton or were leaning towards Hillary Clinton are less likely to support her. That doesn't seem like a very big number, but it looms very large when you're looking at a tied race. John, speaking of early voting, uh, many more Republicans than Democrats have cast their ballots in northeastern Florida. As a matter of fact, the uh, advantage goes to Republicans by about 48,000 early votes. Uh, so 33 percent of registered Republicans in that area have already voted, as opposed to 28 percent of the Democrats. When looking at the Sunshine State as a whole, the Tampa Bay Times is reporting the Dems are lagging behind. Can we read anything out of these very early, early voting numbers? Not yet. I just spoke with a buddy of mine, the former mayor of Miami, telling me that Dems voting in southern Florida, vote rich, uh, you know, Broward and, and, um, and Dade uh, counties, um, you know, there's about, about a 40,000 uh, 
plurality for Dems and so uh, uh, in, in southern Florida. So it's all going to be that I-4 corridor, you know, uh, Orlando across to uh, uh, Sarasota. Too close to call. Right now, as you know, real clear politics average has Trump up by one. Recent polls have him up by one. It's going to be Florida all over again, just like we've been experiencing. Except this time, no hanging chads, uh, we believe, no with, the, with the reform down here in the state of Florida. John Zogby tonight from Utica, New York. John, thanks very much. Thank you.